Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 195. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. I'm going to die? Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no, Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> That was one of the best. That was one of the best memes. Jeremy Clark, just that trio was so good. I'm kind of gutted that that trio doesn't exist. Get, get, get low when the whistle blows. The Grand Tour is pretty fucking good. But. Five laps? Fuck me. The same as old bottom gear. Welcome to bottom gear, mates. That's a good one. Okay, so I, I've just got two shipping update emails from Steam. Which has me concerned that they've sent out two orders? Because two payments went through? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Bottom Gear, mates. <laughs> That's such a good impression. Mate, Bottom Gear is one of the best series ever. Like, you know when you've got... Is it YTP? YouTube poop? Is that the saying? Where it's just shit posts? I, I know there's a, there's a fucking anagram for, like, YouTube shit posts. Yeah, YTP. That's all it is. It's just YouTube shit posts. It's fucking hilarious. It's so great. Sink to the sky. I need it for a single moment tonight. So give me your wings. I need you to fly. So we can go high up into the sky. Ready to fly by Subfocus. Fucking tune. Absolutely amazing. Now my heart's ready to fly. Now my heart's ready to fly. Give, give me your wings. So we can go high up into the sky. I need you to get that. Give me the light. What the fuck are you doing? This isn't the left lane of the motorway. Fucking move over. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> wow. What on earth was going on there? It's not the left lane! <laughs> Wow, I almost got taken out there. Ha 
tonight on Bottom Gear, Hammond commits arson and Jeremy and he inhaled diesel food. <laughs> Bottom Gear is so good. If I can't catch up by the end of lap two, I'll uh, restart this race. Oh my god, now you're actually in the left lane and you're just slow. What even in the fuck are these dickheads doing? <laughs> I think this video's just been demonetized just for my continuous raging. Subscribe! Make sure to subscribe if you would like to help support the channel. The sunlight hurts my eyes. I need I will remember bottom gear me. <laughs> Just imagine us in our 70s. It's just like, Do you remember Bottom Gear mate? <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Muffin Man! <laughs> The sunlight hurts my eyes. Oh shit. It's an Audi. Audi raid. Welcome to Bottom Gear, mate. <laughs> Welcome to Bottom Gear, mate. And wave to yesterday, the sunlight hurts my eyes. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Cyberpunk, bottom gear may never be forgotten. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what are you doing, you knob cheese? <laughs> Sunlight hurts my eyes. Bum 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 bum. Sunlight hurts my eyes. What the hell is he? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, you tip. I was looking at my chap. Fuck's sake. Wait, is Hamilton confirmed? No, it's from Judd. Ah. Oh. Do you know, the one thing... Yeah, Rick Roll. Get Rick Roll, bitch. Yeah, the one thing that, um... What's it called? Confuses the hell out of me with... Um... Fucking... What's it called? The Judge. If no one knows who the judge is, the judge is basically a news outlet 
but they make outrageous claim, like their clickbait is hell. Like, you know Drive to Survive, how it fakes drama? That's what the judge is, but for actual news. I love this. Matrix and Future Bound. Yeah. Right, I need to get those positions back at some point. the slow lane of the fucking motorway. I'm just looking forward to getting this game finished. I'm so excited to be able to finish it and say I've completed Portal Motorsport 3. I'm also waiting for Eminem for anyone who's not watching on the stream. They're catching up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That Audi's caught up. Lovely. Mm 
Move! Move! Bitch! Bum 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 How the hell is that invalidating my lap time by being on that side of the track? How does that work? Thing is about this game, you can tell when it's detecting you as an invalid lap because of the fact that that triangle appears next to the lap time. So the one on the right tells you the lap's invalid, so it doesn't matter anything. Obviously, the one next to the best and the last is the same situation. The lap's invalidated, it's not a clean lap, etc, etc. But when you do something that invalidates the lap time, say for example, watch this. If I go wide, or very close on the inside of this corner, oh look, it says use to rewind, but also a little triangle appears on the left. You see I cut the corner there, a little triangle appears on the left. I know I'm saying this now towards the very end of the video game, but what that means is that during that section, while I was in the middle of the track, for some unknown reason it invalidated my lap time. Like there, I've just gone completely off the track, Fair enough, that's not a clean lap. But I was in the middle of the circuit on that last one and it invalidated it. Like, how? On what planet? Right, let's see what this says then. Yeah, no, it still thinks I'm in. Look, I'm still invalidating the lap time. Which means the game's broken. For Le Mans. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I, I'm screwed. How the fuck have you gotten ahead and so far ahead? What in the fuck is this car doing? Why are you not driving on the track? Why have you gone there? Bye bye, bitch. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you, can, you can tell I'm fed up with this game and want to go to the next one because I'm just driving like an absolute dick now. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Tasty. Little bit of mango in the sun. Right, one thing I do need to check, is that the Aorus logo? I can't tell. I think there's another one here. It's been bugging me for ages. No, I don't think so. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> So yeah, it's not the Aorus logo. Right, well, I'll take a little bit of a penalty here to be a bit further behind, because it gives me a chance that I should catch up with some cars. I'm really looking forward to Motorsport 5. Like, yeah, there's a lot more cars. Yeah, you're at the back of the pack. Yeah, they're easy to overtake, but you're overtaking cars. This game, it just doesn't feel like you're actually racing any cars. Like, even on harder difficulties, it doesn't feel like you're racing them. I'm just hoping that... I was kind of hoping for Motorsport 3 we get more people, to be honest. But obviously, you got to hope high, and then get your dreams absolutely crushed. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, I am hoping that for Motorsport 4 we get a lot more people coming, because Motorsport 4 is one of the most enjoyed games of the entire franchise. So, hopefully, it's all good. There might actually be an update for the Xbox soon, for the 360, to make it compatible with the new Game Pass Core. Because obviously Game Pass is changing now. But oh, sorry, Xbox Live Gold is changing. They're not going to give you free games every month anymore. Which a lot of people don't realise that they're now not doing that. Which sucks. Ah, no, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to eat M&Ms at the same time. Leave me alive. Somehow managed to squeeze myself into that small gap there. That's what she said. It is weird though, the fact that this game, even though this is the last championship, the last race isn't a one and one and a bit hour endurance event like it has been in the last two games. So it does feel extremely weird to say, actually, this is the end of Forza Motorsport now, even though it doesn't feel like that.
I'm doing my formation lap, leave me alone. <laughs> races are actually shorter in this than they were in the last championship which this is the only championship out of all of the world championships where the races have been shorter than the championship before I know that sounds like a mouthful but it makes sense in my brain so basically they shortened down the races of this one and now that means I'm gonna have to sort out my structuring again because I was planning on these being like hour long videos and they're not. Which is fucking great. Cheers. editing all of these. I managed to split my finger open. Like, it's really baffling me. It makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. No sense. No sense whatsoever. I'm partially hoping that by the time we move on to the F1 games, uh, that YouTube will have put an update out to support 120Hz videos. Because I think 120Hz is going to be awesome for watching like gaming content on. I'd love to be able to record in 120Hz. second place and third place <clears throat> I don't even know how the fuck that happened
Not bad. They're right behind. Shut the club down. This is not how I woke up, but it's how it looks now. If you leave with me, then we rinse and repeat. And it just goes on. It's not the left lane. That is one hell of an interesting line I've taken there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We've got four more races after this, I believe. So what? The sun comes up and it just goes on. Hyundai. Nice. Ah, the Peugeot's on my ass. But it's how I look now. Bitch, coming through. <clears throat> All right, looking good. Slow down, motherfucker.
This is obviously from uh, Horizon 3, if anyone doesn't know. Absolute tune. Beep beep. Oh. Peugeot's back. Get out of the way. I love how aggressive that was. Get out of the way. Fuck off. Bonk. Yeah, Peugeot is gone. Peugeot no more. Pugiot. how it's pronounced now. Hyundai is now Hyundai. Ford is now Ford. Uh, Koenigsegg is Koenigsegg. I'm trying to think of some other dumb examples. Nissan is now pronounced Nissan. <laughs> Corn accent. <laughs> corn. It's corn. How much is the tire was worn down? Twenty percent. Fucking nothing. had a short break to refresh the mind somewhat so let's get going it's a good start it's a good start from the mechanic the mechanic is going yeehaw brother ah! what the fuck was that Audi, get your ass back here. Oh, wait, no. Audi, get your ass further back. That's what I meant to say. Peugeot, get your ass here. Shit. Whoa! 
<laughs> and make just casually get in all those cars. Who's that Caramon? I don't know. Pokemon, but cars. It's the Audi R8 with TDI power. <laughs> Who's that Caramon? Why, it's the Toyo a Yaris in pink! <laughs> Swerving along the road. Bop! Beep beep, motherfucker. I'm coming through. I'm not gonna lie, the new Toyota Yaris GR looks stunning. I love it. I think the new GR Yaris is unbelievable. I am what they like to call a huge fan. Terrible corner. I hate Road America if you couldn't tell already. Me, personally, I think out of every single race that's ever existed, this one should get new. Get rid of it. Boom. Kind of too smooth. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the GR86. Because it's not like what the, the Toyota GT86 was supposed to be. Like the GT86 was the BRZ, the 86, and the Scion, whatever it is, FCZ. I can't remember the letters. The future holds. I'm starting to worry about Ray. I'm worried about the future holds. Oh, 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 I'm seriously worried about Ray. They say the future's out to get you. You know that I won't let you go. They say the future's out to get you. You know that I won't let you go. Mm. It's such a good song. Worried about Ray by the Hosiers. The Hoosiers. There's also another song called Goodbye Mr. A by these guys. And also Cops and Robbers is pretty good as well. To worry about Ray. Who's Ray? I'll be honest, they shouldn't have made the Supra. Or they should have made the new version of the GT86 to be similar to what that Supra is. And then just, like, that new Supra was a bad idea. I don't know what it is with car developers, car designers, deciding, right, well, we've got these heritage names. What we're going to do is not do anything with them for ages and then fuck them up. I, I don't understand. Ford's fucked up the Mustang brand. They've tarnished the Mustang brand permanently now. So, unfortunately, they've ruined that. Um, some people say pe Dodge has destroyed the Challenger brand. I wouldn't agree so much. Because of the fact, even though it's electric, I still think it's pretty cool. But, yeah... Nissan is this close to ruining the Skyline brand as well by making an EV SUV 
They're this close to ruining their Skyline brand. If they do it. Toyota's ruined the Supra brand by making this. To be fair, the one company that ruined their heritage the least is Toyota with the Supra. Now, nah, Ford Puma's fine. I got nothing wrong with a Ford Puma. Because the way that Ford did that, right, is rather than making the Puma and then calling it a Fiesta, a car that. Better version of K is now the damn crossover. I mean, to be fair, yeah, the Puma, no, now that you point it out, the KA basically turned into the Puma, in theory. But at the same time, the Puma is just supposed to be a bigger version of the Fiesta. I do see some visual similarities between the KA and the Puma now, now that you point it out. I really fucking hate you for it, because I quite like the Puma. But. <laughs> But at least Ford, rather than, oh, right, we're going to make this big crossover thing and we're going to call it the Fiesta. They just ended the Fiesta line. The name Fiesta has been retired. And so that side, the Fiesta lives on. The focus lives on as what they were. Do you know what? If they didn't rename it the Mustang, if they just retired the Mustang, Retired the Mustang name and just called it the Ford Marquee. I'd have no complaints. And they would have kept their heritage of the Mustang untarnished. And in fact, they could start a new heritage with the Marquee brand. Making performance Ford vehicles completely electric as the Mark E brand. But instead, some executives, and again, this is why I think the people that are in business are fucking morons at the moment. And it goes with my point that we said at the sort of the very start of the stream. The fact that some of the people in businesses at the moment make some of the dumbest decisions ever. And it's like, what the fuck? A five-year-old could have done a better decision. Okay, understandable. Maybe. But when you think about it, the Mustang... Okay. I would much rather them call it the Marquee than the Mustang. Because the Mustang has the heritage of all the years. The Mark I Mustang was a single Mustang car that they made. It was a single car. Right? But Mustang is more than just... What the fuck was that? Mustang is more than just one car. It was a heritage... It was an entire brand. Right? And they've tarnished that entire brand with one car. The fact is, if they called it the Mark E... Right? It would have been a nod back to that. Because that was their first sports car. So it's more of a... Homage. To their first muscle car that they made and it's almost a nod saying this is now our first electric SUV let's see what we can do you know and it's almost a nod to that so in a way, it still wouldn't be that bad. But the fact that they called the Marquee the Mustang... Nah. Disappointed. Because it's... Now, that is technically part of the Mustang lineup. You can't disregard it. You can't say, oh, it's not a Mustang. Well, it says it right on the fucking tin.
doesn't even have Mustang lights, I don't think. But the thing is, again, I don't have a problem with them making electric cars. I think electric cars are good. I think having, obviously, people that say, oh, electric cars... I will still shit on people that say electric cars are more economical for the environment because they are not. They are... With how long people have electric cars, they're not. They'll buy... Basically, they'll buy an electric car, use it for about three years, then trade it in to get scrapped. To get a new one. The life cycle of those batteries aren't long enough to last. And over about five years, it, it takes about three to five years for it to pay off emissions-wise, having an electric car. If our national grid was entirely 100% renewable energy and renewable electricity, then maybe it might be six months. But because all the electricity that is made at the moment comes from running fuel generation and whatnot, burning fuel, burning coal, all that stuff. A full charge is probably about half the emissions of a tank of fuel. And you have to charge one and a half times before like do one and a half full charges for a full tank of fuel, almost. Maybe even two charges for a full tank of fuel. So you got to think, like, in terms of economy, no, it's not more friendly. But again, once once everything is renewable, then yeah, maybe. But first of all, we need 100% renewable energy, which isn't going to happen till about 10 years. We need 100% electric or 100% renewable energy powered vehicles that makes the batteries. But even, even then, I'd, I'd drop the point as soon as the national grid was 100% renewable energy. Because then, I'll, well, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's six months worth of running a car's emissions for the battery itself, but that's fine. That's better than running a car for three years. But, still, point still stands, because the electricity just isn't clean. The electricity you put in your electric car isn't clean. Still uses fossil fuels, gases, and whatnot. But yeah, I'm, I really think... I know it's difficult, but I think hydrogen power needs to... Something needs to happen with it. Because, realistically speaking, right? That ha they need to find a way to make it safe or find a way to modify hydrogen to make it safe to stall compared to petrol um, and I'm sure some genius could figure that out because as soon as you can store that hydrogen and find a safe way to do it you could get um, what's it called get hydrogen fuel cell cars which would be the most energy efficient but you'd have boring electric power and obviously that's just that would generate as much as possible and that would make uh, water out of the back of the car you get electric out of it or if you want noise yeah it might cost you a bit more on the amount of hydrogen you need because you're burning a lot of it Somewhat around that, 
you need to run it for a significant amount of time before your carbon emissions are genuinely better running an electric car than a petrol car. Bridget 1013 is crazy. Honestly, I hate this track with a passion. It's one of my least favorite tracks. It's such a tedious track, only because of the fact the design of it is very much centered around one type of car. I'm not really a fan of American tracks as a whole anyways, because a lot of them, again, are designed just for American cars. But like, you've got this really, really long ass straight. No way you just said that, I did. I really don't like this track and I, I can't get along with it. It's just such a weird wonky track. Like you've got this, Road America is my home track. It could be your back garden for all I care. I really don't like it. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't get along with it. I'm not a fan of the two long straights next to each other. Like, uh, first of all, the track is too long. Um, second of all, there's too many similar style corners. A lot of them are almost 90 degrees. They're either a little bit less than 90 degrees, a little bit more than 90 degrees. So it feels very much like a street circuit. Look, there's another 90 degree corner. So I've done four so far. This one's almost 90 degrees. And, oh, look at this. There's another one. Five corners, 90 degrees. They're very similar style corners. Which, again, 90 degree corners are very much favoured for American cars. Because you just speed up, slow down, take the corner, and then speed up again. They don't really rely too much on downforce. That long sweeping corner, love it. This corner, love it. Because it's very European style corners. Fast, flat out, whatnot. Oh look, here's another 90 degree corner. Oi, you get the fuck back. No, 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 no. Don't mind that corner. I think that corner is quite good. And there's another 90 degree corner. It's just very same old, same old design. Like, the design of the track is very basic. There's no variation to it. There's also three long ass straights. So you're just sat there on these long straights. A track needs one long straight, a couple of decent corners. It's too long. It's too long. It's too, it's just, ugh. And especially when a game like Forza will then go, right, you're going to do 10 laps of this hell. Fuck off. The only track I don't like more than this, the track I hate more than this track, is the Nürburgring. Because that's just a ball like. And it makes me want to go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.